Coming up at 7.30, as traveling season nears, the CDC wants to warn people about a rare disease to watch out for, how it's really only impacting certain destinations. We're going to tell you what you need to know. That's coming up at 7.30. I'll see you then. Okay, all during March, we've been celebrating Women's History Month, and tonight we're focusing on women in law enforcement. Erica Stanish sat down with special agents working for the FBI here in Pittsburgh to learn a little more about their work and the push to recruit more women into that male-dominated field. Is the line ready? Focused. The line is ready. And determined. This is Special Agent Mackenzie Monarco. Nearly 17 years now working for the Bureau, this Duquesne grad was training at Quantico on her 24th birthday to pursue her dream in the FBI. Women, we are making more of our presence known. I think it's really interesting sometimes to be a female agent. She's one of few in this very male-dominated field proving women can do it too. You can be just as strong and just as aggressive um, and just as accomplished with them. I know our firearms instructors sometimes like to say that women actually make better shooters because we are able to be more patient um, with taking those shots. Coming from different backgrounds and diversities, and sometimes with no law enforcement experience at all, these women are setting the bar and new standards. The FBI is male dominated, and we all know that, and that's a very big truth. Um, however, I think I would tell my younger self that you look different, you are different, and that's great. Vicki Minard is a staff operations specialist for the FBI, providing tactical support to agents on national security investigations. What that means is uh, I basically help find the pieces to the puzzle and help put them together. And Felicia Travano is an outreach specialist, bridging the gap between law enforcement and the community one generation at a time. The number one thing I tell people is if you're passionate, um, it doesn't matter, man or woman, no one can stand in your way. Each woman carving their own way and proving anything is possible. I'd say the most rewarding part for any of us special agents, the reason why we do this job, why we work late nights and we wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning for operations, is the impact that we have on our communities, the positive impact that we have. This year, the FBI says it's pledging to advance women in law enforcement. With its 30 by 30 initiative, its goal is to engage 30 percent of women in police recruit classes by 2030. Currently, women make up just 12% of sworn officers and 3% as police leaders across the United States. The Bureau says it's searching for candidates of all backgrounds with any degree and encourages women to step up and take their best shot in a career with the FBI. They can do it. They just got to keep on trying. And failure is part of it. So if they don't fail, they won't learn. And if they don't learn, they won't grow. You have to be able to make decisions and hold your own and kind of let people know that just because you're a female, that your opinion matters and that you're just as capable of doing the job as they are. Don't be afraid, you know, take your shot and, you know, try and um, join us. The FBI says advancing women in policing is critical to improving public safety, community outcomes and trust in law enforcement. Erica Stanish, KDK TV News.